Yeah, y'all. LVZ NBA Talk. Back with another video. We vastly approaching the new season. Preseason will be starting probably under a month, y'all. So let's get ready. And um, let's get ready for a new season of basketball. We see people have made moves and we know people are in different jerseys. We know Braun is in LA with Beasley and guys of that nature. Um, we get shoot. Everybody got the 2K, and if you like me, the computer keep cooking you. But that's how I learn how to play. So fuck it. And, uh, <laughs> and, um, fucking. So if you like me, you keep up with what's going on right now in the NBA. And I figured I was looking at tickets video about Jimmy Butler. Uh, Steven Jackson, Andrew Wiggins, the whole fiasco. And I explained that I did not think Minnesota would be a playoff team again this year. And this is one of the reasons why. The way they were bounced out ceremoniously in the first round. <coughs> they look dejected. Andrew Wiggins is a big part of what's going to happen for them this year. Now... Everybody knows I'm not the biggest Jimmy Butler fan, but what I will say about Jimmy Butler is he brings it every night. And Jimmy Butler is a very solid defensive player, and he's a good offensive player, so he's a very good off all-around uh, basketball player. And like I said, I think he's a great second or third option for a championship team. Maybe third option would be better. Because he could still get his numbers and uh, be the third option, a la Cedric Sabalas or something like that. But um, like, me and Ticket had this debate about Paul George or Jimmy Butler, and we see why I picked Paul George, because I don't think Jimmy Butler can lead a team. You know, and I, I used to have this debate with my man Ron all the time. It was like the difference between Paul George and... And uh, Jimmy Butler is, Jimmy Butler can't lead a team like Paul George. Paul George, when when it was Jimmy Butler and Derrick Rose, it was Derrick Rose's team. Even when it was an injured Derrick Rose, because Derrick Rose was the leadership. Jimmy Butler could give you bona fide points, but you needed, you know, the, the X factor, the guy to take you where you wanted to go was Derrick Rose. And that's just how it was. And when it was when it was his team solely, they barely made the playoffs. And Rondo questioned his leadership ability. Rondo goes over with AD, the same player who had nobody, and they go to the playoffs. So, but Jimmy Butler is a hard worker. He's intense, and he's worked his way to where he is. So I respect that. I do respect that. And that's why I'm side with him on this. Because Andrew Wiggins has much more talent than Jimmy Jimmy Butler. It's true. Andrew Wiggins is a six eight wingman, just like Jimmy Butler, but he's faster, jumps higher, and should be able to do more on the floor than Jimmy Butler. Yet consistently, he has not, and it's gotten worse. You know, his first three years, he went from sixteen nine rookie of the year jump to 20 points a game the next year and then 23 a game the next year so the the logical jump was 26 points a game and you bring in jimmy butler you add with carl anthony towns you will expect carl anthony to average 25 you want wiggins around 26 25 jimmy b could still give you 20 22 that was supposed to be 72 68 to 72 points a game from them three guys. Yet, when you look at the statistics, Andrew Wiggins' numbers have went down dramatically. Almost to the first year, averaging 17.7 points a game, shooting worse from the free throw line at 64%, shooting worse from the field, really not having a three-point shot taking four less shots while only playing 
nine tenths of a minute less. And if you if you dramatically look that bad, can you blame them for sitting one less minute? <laughs> And in the beginning of the year, I was noticing Jimmy Butler's numbers weren't that gaudy. So when I looked at it, I was like, well, what is Wig Wiggins is supposed to be averaging dubs? And it, it, it was obvious that Jimmy came there to be a facilitator, but they didn't have what it takes. So now Jimmy Butler wants out. And Jimmy Butler says he wants to go to the Clips the paper clips, because I guess he figured he could bring Kawhi there, go to Brooklyn or New York so he can get Kyrie there. Me personally, I would like to see him go to the Knicks. I would like to see him go to the You get Kevin Knox, Jimmy Butler, Chris, Por uh, Chris Porzingis, and then if Kyrie comes there, you got a one, two, three, four, and there you go. You got a good one, two, three, four punch right there. You really do. So I would like him to see Jimmy Butler go there. People talking about where he goes to the Clippers, you bring Kyrie with him and uh Travis Beverly. But I'm of the I'm of the mind frame I'd like for them to still have DeAndre Jordan with that team because you would have one of the greatest defensive teams out there. You would have the ultimate shot blocker and rebounder with two great defensive wings and one of the best defensive point guards. And it would just be hell to try to score on them. The problem is you don't get enough offense from guys like Travis Beverly. Uh, Kawhi would be, have to be the focal point, and a guy like DeAndre wouldn't. So I understand. And then also you got guys like Tobias. Uh, coming off the bench. And, you know, Tobias come off the bench. He can still put up numbers. So, uh, it, it's a lot it, It's a lot of uh, interesting moves that still need to be made. And I think look for the Lakers to still maybe make a move. Maybe not a major move, but make a move. But, uh. This Jimmy Butler situation, I want to see how it pans out. I want to see where he goes. Let me think. Let me hear what you think and where you think he should go. Personally, I wouldn't mind him going to the Knicks. But, hey, what you guys think? One LVZ. I'm out.